Hello Accounting Superstars! Welcome to the Accounting Superstar YouTube channel. Glad you're here. This is the place to learn accounting. I've been teaching accounting for about 30 years, been a CPA for about that long, and I got great ways to explain accounting. So you've come to the right place. So this lesson is uh, designed for people probably in about their fourth week of accounting class, their very first accounting class, and we're learning about adjusting entries. And adjusting entries are not easy. Everybody struggles with them. So if you're one of those persons not getting it, you're normal, okay? Everybody struggles with, with the third chapter in accounting. And things do get easier, and I struggled with it, and all of my students struggle with it, so, um, but I've got it down now. After 30 years, you, you do learn something. Okay, so here's what we got going on. We've got when we get to construction, and they've got a lot of uh, inventory that they keep on hand. In fact, here's a picture of all kinds of inventory here. So they've got uh, two by fours and glue and caulking and all kinds of supplies. And during the year, whenever they buy construction supplies, they just expense it. They say, oh, uh, we, we bought two by fours, uh, you know, two by four expense, whatever. So here, here is where the accounts stand at the end of the year. And I kept these numbers small just so you could focus on uh, the concept and not, not worry about the numbers. So uh, the supplies expense as of the end of the year is $3,000. So they bought quite a few supplies, $3,000, and they just, whenever they buy supplies, they just call it an expense. It's just easier that way. And, uh, and according to their accounts, they've got uh, $600 in supplies inventory. And this came from last year. You see, last year they counted their supplies inventory at the end of the year, and they figured they had about $600 worth of inventory. So they set their account uh, supplies inventory at $600. Now, uh, we, we have an employee count the inventory at the end of the year. And this year, rather than $600, we have four hundred dollars of inventory uh, of supplies inventory so we don't have six hundred we really only have four hundred so we really would like to see this account have a balance of four hundred dollars here here's the mathematical part here folks uh, don't let this I hope this doesn't scare you but um, in order to go from six hundred dollars of supplies down to four hundred how much do we have to subtract here well, we have to subtract $200, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce supplies inventory by $200. There we go. So we're going to credit supplies inventory by $200. And that way, uh, if we do that, it will bring the balance down to $400. Now, if we're going to credit something, we got to debit something else, right? So here's what what happened is is at the end of last year or or the beginning of this year either way, at the beginning of this year we had six hundred dollars worth of supplies inventory. At the end of the year we only had four hundred. So that means that we used up the inventory. So whenever you use up resources, that's considered to be an expense. So what we'll do is since we credited supplies inventory for two hundred. Why don't we debit supplies expense for 200 and that way our debits and credits will be equal. And guess what? Our supplies expense will end up being a grand total of 3200 So let's see how the journal entry works out for this. We always list debits first. So since we're debiting or on the left-hand side, we have supplies expense for 200 There we go. Supplies expense 200 Supplies inventory for uh, credit for 200 there we go. So let's um, come down here. Now, uh, the reason why I show you guys and gals this uh, little chart here, this is just a little partial chart. This is how accountants did accounting uh, many, many years ago, like 50 or 100 years ago. And it, it's useful because it, it shows you uh, where, where the numbers are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take these numbers off of the uh, T accounts here. So uh, supplies inventory at the beginning of the year uh, here before the adjusting entry was 600. So I'm going to just put that right down here. Supplies inventory, 600. Supplies expense, $3,000. There we are. So here's the adjusting entry. So we're going to debit supplies expense for 200. So debit supplies expense for 200 right there. There we go. And we're going to credit supplies inventory for 200. 
So there we go. So let's just bring the numbers across. So um, a debit for 600, and we're combining that with a credit of 200. So we have to reduce this, and we get 400. And guess what, folks? That's exactly what this T account shows right there. All right. And then, uh, then we just have to decide, well, does supplies inventory go on the income statement or does it go on the balance sheet? Well, only two things at this point in your education go on the income statement. Only two things. Revenues and expenses. Hope you know that. All right. Now, supplies inventory is not revenue and it's not an expense, so it's going to go over to the balance sheet. And, and if you think of it, it makes sense because supplies inventory is an asset. What goes on the balance sheet? Assets, liabilities, and equity. So this $400 debit is going to be sent over here to the balance sheet. And then supplies expense here, we've got uh, a debit of uh, 3000 and a debit of 200 That brings us to a debit of 3200 which is also identical to this T account. No different whatsoever. Okay. So uh, you might say, all right, well, where does supplies expense go? Does it go on the income statement or the balance sheet? Well, what two things go on the income statement? Revenues and expenses. Okay, so uh, we'll put that 3,200 right here under uh, the income statement. Now you might, might be wondering, well, gosh, it doesn't look like debits and credits balance here, and, and, and they don't. And the reason why is we're just looking at a little partial bit of uh, this worksheet here. So don't worry about that. We, we did everything correctly. So I hope this helps you out, folks. Uh, this is a very uh, common type of adjusting entry that you learn in school. And uh, hey, if this uh, video helped you out and um, if you like these videos, let me know. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and that way I'll know to make more of these. So uh, until next time, over and out.